Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to discuss very important topic. The topic which we are going to discuss today is as follow. P chart using Excel. So we are going to do it in both the versions. Uh, we are going to do it in Excel and uh, particularly we are going to do it like how to calculate the limits and what formula we need to apply that is the most important segment which we are going to discuss in this video let's go to the first part and in this example this is the sample the sample size as we know that p chart which we can use it for both defective uh, and for the fixed sample as well as the variable sample in both the cases we can use it but generally it is used for uh, fixed sample even if it is there for the variable sample also we can use it but only thing is system or the calculation it will pick from the maximum value which i will explain in few minutes so this is the example number one i have a data like 25 data i have and then defective lamps there are defective lamps and then i have calculated these are all the blue one which i have calculated using excel for example, p value. So, p value first value is 0 0.003 and then followed by 0 0.006 and, and so on and so forth. So, what I did simply divide the defect divided by total number of sample b2 divided by a2 and then yield. Yield, you know, 1 minus this defect, you will get the yield. Sigma value is very interesting. This is the sigma value formula norms dot s dot inverse. 1 minus again defective divided by sample size plus 1.5 right we are talking about shift right 1.5 shift is usually can happen so we can put 1.5 so this is the value and dpmo value also we can give how to do it very simple the formula is b2 that is defect divided by volume and only thing is i'm just converting into 1 million opportunity right and i have got it even it will also will give you more idea which is the highest value which is the which part is the highest value and all that which will give you the indication for example this is the highest value and uh, you also have 25 is highest value and all that it will give an indication easily and then another if you know that formula like dpmo directly you can also do it six sigma you can calculate the same formula uh, only thing is instead of uh, applying that uh, defective divided by sample i'm just applying dpmo formula divided by since we are talking about inverse 1 million opportunity so now i have got this value and uh, so whenever because in this case no problem even if it is uh, we don't need to take lcm but it's always wise that you know you can take the total count right so let's see that uh, overall actually so overall you can see that k column so this is the uh, one so how we can do first we can find out that what is the total sample total sample is this one i just simply copied all the value so this is your sample uh, total sample and total defects so this is the total defects we have so total defect we have 118 right this is the 118 and then p bar and average value so it's simple j2 that is this is divided by total sample like you can get like this is the value we got it the same thing i convert into percentage also as well 1.57 right let's go back to the yield yield is nothing but one minus defect is yield right so 98.43 is the yield and defect is 1.57 similarly we can calculate the overall uh, sigma value also as well all these put together we can also calculate the sigma value also as well so for this is the, we should not do this way because uh, when the denominator are different this will become an issue so always we can just use it from this uh, the total values the same thing is being done here so what is being done here so uh, uh, j2 j2 is a total defect divided by i2 that is total sample and 1 plus 5 n so n equal to the there is two way so you can't take an average you can't take the sum also as well so you can just always put that average i mean max 
so in this case the max is of course 300 right and let's see the formula now so the formula is k2 maybe i can just explain from here this is the formula so lcl is p bar minus 3 root of p 1 minus p bar divided by n n equal to your sample right and then ucl you just need to put that instead of minus you need to put that plus so the same thing is being done here let's see here so what i have done is k2 k2 that is uh, uh, you have a k2 that is uh, p value p bar value and then plus into 3 into root of right again p bar 1 minus p bar that is what uh, 3 times that k2 is coming that is p bar divided by m2 m2 is nothing but your n value so you got that lcl uh, sorry ucl you got it and the similarly this you have a plus the same same formula you just need to my add it as minus so you got this also as well like lcl also as well and uh, there is a specific rule it says that whenever you get minus value because the rejection cannot be in minus right defective cannot be in minus right you should consider that as zero whenever the minus value comes in why because it is also given in this uh, very book so whenever we get the minus we should consider this as one so this this is coming from book reference six sigma handbook migra hills fourth edition is an indian edition and the same thing is there so now what is very interesting is this is the value we have got it using this one let's see what value we are getting it in many tab so many tab this is the sample value i have and i'm just giving um, you can start from the start and control chart and in the control chart you have attribute chart and the p chart right in the p chart you have a defective sample and then sample size is the sample uh, in the sample subgroup size you can put that sample size give okay and exactly 0 0.01573 you can got the same value we have got it here right very same value we have got it if you compare this value here lcl we got zero fantastic because it's a minus one we can consider it as zero and p bar 0 01573 0 1573 that is 1.57 percentage and ucl how much we got 0 0.3.03729 0 0.03729 that is 3.73 percentage we have got exactly the values are mimic the values are ditto same and we got both in excel as well as many tab we got the same value similarly this is for the fixed sample right similarly we can go to the variable sample in the variable sample directly from the book i have uh, just added this data set so this is the let me introduce the data set what is given shipment number there are 25 shipment is happened and crats are tin reference they have given one two there are tin reference one has got 250 quantities two has got 500 quantities and then bruised and then how many things are defect like all these are there similar approach been applied so defect nothing but number of de uh, number defect percentage is defect divided by number of volume we have exactly that's a d2 by c2 and then i have played all the things and then yield one minus uh, this value defect percentage you got all this value sigma again the same formula which i applied before norms dot s dot inverse 1 minus defect divided by c2 that is volume plus 1.5 and dp also we have got it and just in case if we additional information we have also put the dpm also and then sigma value also as well right so you can see here all these uh, this is the defect they have got and uh, the total sample is this is the total sample and I have just added that's what we need to do we should not take an average we should add it so 8000 and uh, total defect is this is the quantity 1544 uh, 1500 
44 right so that's a uh, defects we have and then you have percentage and uh, this is p bar value that is 0 0.013 19 percentage is the defect very very high defective uh, we can say and then this is the again we can one minus yield one minus defect is yield that is 80.70 is the yield and in terms of uh, sigma value it is 2.36 sigma sigma and n how to do it maximum we should take it so here you will get it like uh, 250 and 500 the max is 500 so and then let's talk about the lcl and ucl lcl the same formula so p bar minus 3 in root of p into 1 minus p bar divided by you have n exactly the same thing being applied and then when you say ucl we need to put that plus right again p bar plus 3 square root of p bar into 1 minus p bar divided by n only these two we need to substitute very simple formula and now you got this uh, value in terms of now what it says is the average defect is 19.3 and uh, the lowest defect it has got like 14 the highest defect that is ucl has got 24.59 that means almost 25 percentage so in a way so it says mid is 19 min is uh, lower is 14 max is 25 the same thing we'll see in many tab so in the many tab i have already given this uh, value right already i have just copy pasted now what i'm doing is i'm just going again start and uh, control chart in the control chart attribute chart and p chart so now i will pick up so this is bruce and then you also have features this is your volume and then give okay and now 0.13193 right p bar exactly 0.193 we got it and then lcl is 0 0.1401 1401 exactly the same value we got and the ucl is 0 0.0 0 0.2459 0 0.2459 exactly the same if you increase that decimal it will be exactly the same we got the same value I hope you enjoy this video particularly how to calculate the limits right so this is what been deeply discussed and this excel is free to share those who comment uh, this excel also will be shared so this excel has got uh, similar formulae similar different examples and all that you can definitely use it and uh, whenever you wanted to uh, you know just make a change for example instead of 500 I made a change here you know 250 I made a change here for automatically everything will get calculated you see here 19.3 it will become 18.72 again I will make the changes 500 again it got changed so all this is editable version all the formula have been invoked all you need to do is you need to feed the value automatically will get it so please feel free to uh, comment if you have any specific questions so that we will pick it up Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have a wonderful day ahead.